I mean, I, I like the puzzle as well. I like the psychology and I like the puzzle to solve, very much the puzzle. And I like the kind of um, structure as well of a crime novel, that you know something happens in a crime novel and a thriller. It's not like a literary novel, which, you know, you could read 100 pages and nothing happens, so, which is great, you know, if you like that kind of book. But I like a book to read and to write where something's happening. There's a lot of action going on. in the psychology behind people, what makes people do the things they do, um, and uh, you know, the, the, the lies that people tell, and the sort of image that they have of themselves. Um, you know, I always used to say, uh, used to study psychology and lecture in psychology, and uh, you think you're normal, to you you're normal, but what is normal? And how other people see us, we never see ourselves how other people see us. So, I find that interesting um, and I also think that having worked in marketing for, for many, many years, the ability of a good marketing person is to put yourself in your customer's shoes and you may be marketing to an 80-year-old man or a six-year-old child or whatever it is, you have to think like that person. So I think that was always quite good training but one of the other things is that I always write from the male point of view. So my lead characters are always men, and I always write as a man. I don't know what that makes me, but a closet man. But, you know, I am, yes, I, you know, I do go into Andy Horton's world, or even my thrillers, um, the, two, the two main characters, and that are men. Um, but I, it's just, I think it's just finding your style. It's what suits you. And it takes a while as a writer to find your style. And I wrote many novels with female leads, before I actually wrote Andy Horton, um, and then I wrote Two Threads and then went back to Andy Horton. And I thought, yeah, this, this is what I want to do. I, 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 I live sort of see the, I see the crimes and the solving of crimes through one voice, and that is like Andy Horton's voice or my thriller character's voice, not through anybody else. No, I, I, think, I think we do all enjoy a good story. Um, uh, we need to be encouraged to find those stories, we need to be told those stories and you know echoing what Anne said about libraries is uh, I, I come from um, a household where there were no books, we didn't have books, nobody in my family read books um, and if it hadn't been for a, a, a friend's mother actually taking me to a new library in Tangiers Row, the Oldman Lacey Library in Portsmouth, I would never have discovered, or maybe not then, discovered the joy of reading Enid Blyton, <laughs> of course, um, and, and then progressing from there, and, and as a child, escaping into a world that was so totally different from my own. There were these middle-class children going to boarding school, you know, what, what was this? Was that out my, outside my experience, you know, but you could. So, it, and that started with a library. So li libraries are hugely important for, for those children and, and libraries and schools are important where children are not exposed to reading and to books and, to, to, and because it improves their, obviously, their language. Mm -hmm.